more frequently to lose weight. This is something that we all hear about. Every personal trainer and fitness expert will tell you the same thing. Eating smaller meals will help boost your metabolism, and that's the key to losing weight. So what I want to talk about is, do we really have to eat small meals more frequently? I mean, most people are pressed for time as it is throughout the day, and the thought of squeezing five or six meals and snacks in, it just doesn't fit into a lot of our schedules. And aside of that, sometimes if you've ever been really busy at work or you've been in on a project and you know, three, four hours could go by like in the blink of an eye and before you know it, you're thinking, oh my God, I haven't even eaten. So my, my uh, purpose for this video is to, is to look a little more deeply into this and to solve the question here of, is it possible that we could achieve the same weight loss results or better by eating fewer meals throughout the day? Because we've all been told that eating fewer meals is gonna slow your metabolism down. Well, let's look at this a little deeper and see what's really going on. So what I did was I created a graph here today to uh, illustrate at the bottom here, you're gonna see the numbers. So this is typically a, a typical meal setup for um, when somebody eating five meals a day. A breakfast over here, a snack, lunch, snack, dinner, um, something like that. So what you're gonna see with this graph here, now I'm not gonna talk in terms of calories, and here's why. I'm gonna talk about hormones in this because hormones are the chief regulator of fat loss, right? If you're trying to lose weight and you have blood sugar imbalances, you have a suppressed thyroid, your estrogen levels are up, testosterone levels are down, growth hormones not working right, you are gonna have a next to impossible time reaching your weight loss goals. Doesn't matter how many calories you cut out of your diet at that point. So the, the critical thing to look at is hormones. In particular, we're gonna look at insulin here. So every time that you consume something other than water, it elevates your insulin levels because insulin is a, it's, it's basically a, a storage type hormone. Insulin takes the nutrients from the food you eat and it, and it stores them into the cells in your body where, where they're needed. Now here's the thing, every time your insulin levels are elevated, your fat burning hormones are, are decreased, right? So insulin up, fat burning down. So here's the thing, if we look at the green line here, that represents eating five times a day, you'll see that there's this consistent, um, there's not a large spike in insulin provided that you're eating pretty clean in your diet, but your insulin levels, look, they're spiked up at least five times throughout the day. So while they, they may not be big spikes, they're happening a lot of times during the day. So you've got at least five times you're eating five meals a day that your insulin levels are being spiked and your fat burning, your fat burning hormones are being suppressed. All right, so now if you look at the red line, well, this is what we're always told not to do. Three square meals a day, okay? or potentially two meals and a, and a snack somewhere in there, something like that. But you'll see that the, the uh, insulin spike is a little bit larger and it's a little bit longer, but it happens less frequently throughout the day, right? So ideally, uh, what will tend to happen is, I mean, these are kind of close, right? Do I want it more frequently throughout the day or do I want it less frequently but a little bit longer? It's kind of a wash in the way that it works. So what this is suggesting is that from a fat loss standpoint, these are kind of even, they're just different ways of looking at it. So this would suggest we don't have to eat five or six small meals a day. And in a, in a lot of ways, you're actually better off eating fewer meals throughout the day too. Because we have to think about something as well, your, your digestive um, enzyme pool. Well, that takes like four to six hours for your body to replenish enough of that. So every time you're eating, every couple of hours, you're robbing energy from that pool. So it's actually less efficient on your digestive system, not more efficient, right? It doesn't, there's no metabolic boosting magic about eating five meals a day. It's just, sorry, it doesn't happen. It doesn't work that way, all right? So now what we're looking at, and, and also if you, if you take into account, you might be asking right now, well, you know what, Kevin? There's a lot of people who lose weight by eating five to six small meals a day, and they weren't losing weight when they were eating two meals a day or, or whatever the case may be. So we all know that that happens, right? Well, let's take a little bit deeper look at why that happens. Again, we often assume that the five meals, the smaller meals, speeds up the metabolism, but here's what's really going on. Typically, most people, when they're, when they're uh, skipping meals, when they are overweight, it's, the reason why is because basically, at the most basic level, their bodies are unhealthy. Unhealthy bodies store a lot of body fat. 
Healthy bodies do not. So the reason why these people are eating all kinds of junk food and, and eating too much of it and storing all this weight anyways really comes down to malnutrition. And if you're wondering, well, how can that be when you're eating all these calories throughout the day? Well, just because you eat like a high-calorie diet does not mean that your body is well-nourished. And that's really the reason why these people are overeating anyways. They're, the cells in their bodies are not getting the nutrients that, that they need to function and feel their best. So their bodies keep screaming for food. Their brain keeps giving them the signals to eat because they're not getting the nutrients they need. So what happens when they switch to smaller meals more frequently throughout the day? Well, at the same time, they're cleaning up the diet. They're eating a more nutrient-dense diet, which means that they're just providing their bodies with more nutrients. So again, what it is, really, if you look at it at a deeper level, it's not the number of meals that they're eating throughout the day. It's the fact that they're getting the nutrients that their bodies have been craving for so long. Once you get the nutrients, the energy into your body that it needs, it'll start to function better. Your metabolism will start to function better. Your hormones will start to balance out, which will make it so much easier to drop weight and lose body fat. So that is the big take home point. The other thing to look at is if it was really true that smaller meals more frequently throughout the day speeds up your metabolism, well then guess what? What would happen if we ate eight times a day? Then we should see our metabolism should speed up even more. We should get even leaner in life. Or what if we ate 10 times a day? We should be burning body fat like a blowtorch at that point. But we know it doesn't happen that way. So again, you have to look deeper into that. It's not the number of meals that we eat that boosts the metabolism. It's the quality in our diet that really does it in our ability to manage our hormone, hormones such as this guy instantly here. So take home point here. Can you eat five, six meals a day or whatever and still lose weight? Yes. Can you still lose weight on two to three meals a day eaten less frequently? Yes. It doesn't matter. It's not the number of meals. So that's the point that I'm trying to drive home. So you don't have to be a slave to the clock on every two to three hours you've got to eat. You just really do what feels right for you, what fits into your schedule. And either way you go, as long as you have a quality diet, you're going to be able to drop the weight and lose the body fat you want. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, feel free to post a comment and let me know what you think. And I'll be talking to you soon. Take care.